Hello, welcome to the Jansen Art Studio. I'm David Jansen, and today we're going to tackle a vase of flowers. Now, with this one, I'm going to be using the new Global Art flat brushes. So I'm going to take my number eight fusion here, and I'm going to take some white down. And this entire painting technique, I want to use everything in the painting a little bit heavier. Artists should use their colors thick enough to flow together. Now, you would think flowing together would uh, be very liquid but no that's not it they swirl together they swirl they kind of flow and swirl together kind of like marbleizing and and i'm going to scrub it right around the painting here i'm going to work my brush down and across here and i'm going to work it in short choppy strokes here painting in many different directions that's the secret of painting these things and let's just make a couple of real quick little strikes to that using the chisel of the brush here strikes through we'll just lightly tap and model some of that into the little foot there so it's all modeled quite heavy here so then i can i can pull this in sometimes you'll see oh, one of the things i do is i take a little color and i pull out like this letting the flat of that brush stop out there like that if I feel I need more shadow, I actually physically pick up shadow and stroke into reverse here and put that shadow into that, that flower like that. But I will push and wiggle using the corner of that, that sharp corner of this flat here to get the, the edges of this flower here. Get some movement out here. Out like that. I will curve around a little bit more as I come into the center here. Curve these petals around. I'm taking a lot of thick, thick paint and kind of drawing it in there using the corner of the brush and kind of pushing it around into the shape of the flowers. We'll model up our grays here. Just going to put a little bit of green in just a bit just to help model that color through there. There we go, that's better. That's better, that's better look to it. There we go. And we'll paint a little more light. Just kind of whisper that on there. Watch these edges. Build up the edges there. Sometimes pull out. And you can put on a little dark, like a little red violet and stuff in your brush and pull out too. A lot of nice, dark, cool red violet over here on this shadow side of it. Here, we'll warm the front of the rose up. Let's just take a little bit of our reds here. And... Uh, We'll come in, tap this in. Let's warm this front of the rose up right in here. Just wiggle some of this warm naphtha red light, even a little bit of that orange. Why not? What the heck? Different day, different painting. Let's put a little bit of that in there. And here we go. Let's just take a little corner of this and... Give our movement out and around. There. And you can restate some darks or push some stuff back in. 
here. And again, all kinds of ways to build roses. Then we'll have another little bit of one coming right out through here. I'll just kind of sketch in some greens. Just move some color around here. And so we'll suggest a few shadows. We'll add some little buds. I love these little, like little tiny peony buds. I love to put those into a painting. So, and you can see I move my brush kind of fast. I have the colors, I vary a little bit. But I rock and roll the brush using different edges of the brush, different corners of the brush, chisel, just kind of move and move and move. And you kind of got to just let it happen what happens. Don't try to copy. Maybe there's another back flower here. And maybe one back up over here. Right back in there. Kind of finish up that edge of the composition there. We'll... Uh, Come up to the sides here. There we go. And drop some of that around. Use your finger. I love to use the finger. Let's put some of that right in here as well. Move that around. And with good all prima, the more you tap something, the softer it gets. So um, I do want to get some color variation, and I feel that these are all getting to be the same so I'm gonna step this one up maybe a bit more to the orange or so here so if you feel you you want to get good color variations for interest in your painting so here if it if it comes a little bit too much the same I'll just step it off a little and, and change one so I'll change this one the smaller flower here make it a little different than the other one than the original yeah, but it all depends on, you know, because we're painting casual. It all depends on how much your colors come off here. There we go. Just kind of direct it around. This is really what um, Sargent said about color and stuff. If I'm coming in here and I put this highlight into this yellow, uh, this orange color here, these colors flow together. See how they flow together like that? They swirl and they flow together without the mix. And it even picks up some of that other color that's underneath there. All these colors flow together here. They, they flow, see? I can pick up my light and I can flow this all together in here like this. That's the beauty. That's the beauty of what you're getting when you're looking at your flower. You can see the movement and the color and you can see the thickness of the paint. See the thickness, the thickness that I have here of, of this paint. Let's get it so the shine can show you here. So you can see that thickness there of that paint. See how thick that is there? Thanks very much for joining me. I had a great uh, painting time with you. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you give this a try. Don't just watch the videos, but get out there, grab some thick paint, and give it a try. Okay. We have lots of educational videos at the Jansen Art Studio along the Paint It Simply program. We have over 350 lessons at this time of filming with this one, with more coming. And, of course, the, the gouache is coming, too. So we have a lot of the Alla Prima and Paint It Simply lessons coming, a lot for you to choose from. And if you ever have any questions or anything like that, just email us at the studio. You can reach us on the JansenArtStore.com. There's a little comments button or a little question button right there. You can just reach us directly there. Or you can drop us an email at JansenArtStudio at AOL.com. And we'll be happy to answer any of your kinds of questions. Give us some time, though, to answer because sometimes we're really busy and on the road and traveling. But we try to answer everything that we get. Okay, thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed. And I look forward to painting with you again here at the Jansen Art Studio or in one of our seminars somewhere. You have a great painting day, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.